anti-DPP rally at uh, Kasumagaseki near the uh, Prime Minister's. Now, if you don't know about DPP, it's something that's getting a lot of uh, talk and resistance in Japan recently. Uh, some of the key issues is particularly agriculture. Now it's going to affect Japan's ability to um, sovereignty produce their own food and all the extra competition will come from cheaply uh, imported uh, foods, which will affect a lot of the farmers and a lot of the industry in Japan regarding agriculture. Also, a lot of the other problems that it's going to create will be uh, any, corp any foreign corporation with a flood into the country without much oversight from the um, economy ministries themselves or any type of thing like that. So basically they lose a lot of control of their own economy. It will also affect copyright laws. Now in Japan, highly creative people. Uh, you know, and um, if you see videos, um, last year we did a rally in um, Akihabara. And you saw they were against uh, the copyright stipulations in TPP that were meant to actually be creative. Uh, making like fan base art, things like that. So there's a lot of things surrounding this. So today we come out here just to kind of see a little bit of this actual resistance here in Japan. Yeah, a very strong wind today in Tokyo this evening. Getting quite chilly at the moment, but we still have a, a crowd out here anyway. Yeah, you can see way back in the distance. The moment, but the police have a barricade up. I don't know why. <laughs> These people are really not going to do anything all that bad. They're just exercising their rights of free expression. Yeah, you see a bit of shot in that there. Way there, the back there. The barricades up. At least paranoia. As usual. A few conversations going on here. people have signed. Uh, like で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、